Okay, hello everybody. I've just got a new um, little kit. It's um, a load of tickets and numbers. It's, it's a bit of a medley, really. I've called it Ticket and Numbers. So I just thought I didn't know what to call it. So, um, yeah, I've worked on this page. Took me ages, I must say. So, not my sort of forte, really. But I really like what I've done, and I've made it, um, you know, a nice plain background, really, so that it will go with most things. And I wanted some coloured ones, so I'm really quite happy. So it's just a bit of mixture, a few words, a few numbers, you know, just to have a play. And then I've done a plain one here that you can do your own stamping in and things like that. I shall do a little video. I've done total random stamping and they turned out lovely, which you'll see in a minute after this video. And then I did think when i done those or oh, wouldn't it be nice to have some larger ones so i've just done a page these are bonus pages really um just a page larger okay for you to stamp on and things then i've got black numbers because i like my black numbers so i've got them there and then i've shrunk them down a bit here as well so they come in handy for all different things then I've got some like other tickets and then some more blank ones here, some French texts in here. It's just it's just playing really. And then I've got two pages of these are my own in my own collection. Some tickets with loads of numbers and things. So all sort of different colours. And then here, because I tend to, as you know, I tend to cut bits off the numbers and everything. So I've sort of done that for you. So they come in handy for different things these aren't my own collection that's um there's a graphics fairy and then i put my own numbers in yeah i think it is i'm not sure um and then i've got two pages of like just a number background okay which i really like using and i'm going to be using that more often now and that one is like got in the background there it's got sort of um ephemera and different things going on in the background of that one and sort of a bit of a grungy style there then i've got oh yeah the blank page with a white in here now my theory behind this was is you print a page out with like ephemera or things like that but a full page and then you print on the top okay and then you'll just be wonder what you get which I, I thought was quite interesting. Some will work, some will won't. But again, these can be tea stained or coloured your own colour, you know, or do what with inks and everything. So it's just a basic pure white one. This is what I I printed a piece of French ephemera. And then I print reinserted it and printed on the top. And I'm actually quite pleased with what's come out here. I mean some haven't got much in, but do you know what? That, that's fine you can add a bit more yourself but i'm actually really liking that so uh, this piece of french ephemera i got i just blew make sure i blew it up because i think it was a little bit shorter so just make sure i paid i've uh, done full scat i couldn't i can't go any more than this because it's a laser printer and it doesn't print borderless my inkjet does but this one doesn't so yeah, I was quite pleased with them. So I'm going to um, cut them out and then we can see what they look like. And I'm also going to show you next how to do um, these ones, random stamping. And then I will do some large ones with you, which will be quite interesting. So I shall go ahead and do that. And I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay everyone this is just a little little play around that i'm having um this is going to be a kit it might already be launched by the time you see this video um it's going to be i haven't done it finished it all so i haven't printed it all yet but i printed the blank page i also included one with white as well that if you want to print over anything so that is just a bonus really these two are just bonuses and this one is this one shrunk down so you can have some little labels and things so i thought i would do a load of stamping i'm not worried about if it goes over the lines or anything like that but let's play and i've got the colors i've got fire brick because i bought these um what's it i think they come last week i think rustic 
wilderness which is lovely because i haven't got i've got vibrate but i haven't got though that new that one and i haven't got this prize ribbon in any of the colors so that is quite nice and it's really weird how it's actually quite much to what i'm doing <laughs> that was not <laughs> premeditated at all my gosh <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, I did pick those colours. I've got other colours, but they are the ones that actually go with what I'm doing. So, um, I'll black as well. Oh, and I've got um, faded jeans here. Black soot and vintage photo, Grand Espresso. Okay, so I think I'm going to do them in half, actually. I think it'd be easier to manage and easier for you to see. So, do that let's see what we got done because a lot of people haven't got those um you know frame stamps i mean i've got i've got the tim holtz ones plus i have got um my own ones anyway so but i think it was well, who did i see did marley designs done something similar I'm, I'm sure she did well i'll link her video and i'm sure you know there's other videos out there as well it's just that i've got my colors now and I love them and I want to use them. And I thought, well, I was doing this. This has been done a while. I was just sorting out. It took me ages, This, these pages, because the other page has got stuff in it. I think I've got that one printed, actually. I'll just show you, just in case it's not out yet. Yeah, it'll be like that. This is what took me ages. Absolutely ages. <laughs> Hats off to people who do labels. <laughs> I become a bit like, oh, I don't want to see another label as long as I live. <laughs> but now I'm happy they're done because I can play now. And then they're not too, they're overly big because I, I like the small ones to go in the journal. And I actually like them smaller than this as well. So anyway, I've got these ones as well. I'm not worried too much about what fits in and what doesn't. Right, but I've got loads so let's i was just thinking that's gonna do literally do you know what? i'm not gonna worry about it all right got loads of little numbers okay i think i'll there we go oh i love this one it's my one of my favorites and there's another one that I really love too. The flower on it. Oh, there he is. This one here. Love that. So I'm going to, I'm not worried about it going over here. So not at all. Um, I'm going to do vintage photo on this one, I think. But I'm going to go up this way because I do want this in one. So I want to stamp off a bit. So I was getting a bit too conformed there. I was.
Let's finish that one now. I've got carried away with that one now. <laughs> That's because I saw the empty spaces. That's about as much as I can do there, I think. And here they are, all finished. I cut them all out and the little ones. Yeah, yeah, I did. So they're all there and they go in my little pot now. And I'm really happy with them all, actually. There's not, I think there was one that was looking a bit odd that most probably, but it's still, you know, there's not a lot on that one, say, but still okay to use. And I really love them. So have fun with those. Just use your stamps on them and then cut them out. They can, they can look cool. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, um, it was Marley Designs. Um, done you know the colored ones i mean i have seen I've sort of seen them done before i've done them before you know but more sort of like um plainish ones but i think it's great use of the new new colors from tim holtz as well or any of your inks it doesn't have to be tim holtz but here we go it's the this is these ones oh, i'm hard to zoom in a little bit sorry folks there we go okay and they've turned out really great it's great now I've got my own bespoke tickets. <laughs> okay, I mean, I like that one's got a bit of a line down, but do you know what? In a collage or something like that, that's going to look fine. And that one's turned out really great. So, yeah, and the circle ones are good. They turned out good. So, yeah, that was my thought process. <laughs> Worked well on that one. So, yeah, very, look at this one, hexagon one. Oh, man, that's cool. Yep. Okay, some more tickets. <laughs> right, hello, everybody. i done all those, and they look brilliant. Okay, so that's the stamped version. Then, as I was doing these, I thought, well, I have, you know, some scrapbooking papers. I have no idea what pack this was from. It's not Tim Holtz. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. So I print it. I cut it down because it's 12 by 12, 2 A4. And then I shall, I printed, I ran that through the printer. Yeah. To find out which way, I mean, some of you will know anyway, but which way your printer you put in. I always put in that way, the top in to the, because I've got, I've got one at the back. No, no, I haven't got one on the back on here. Sorry, because it's my laser. Sorry, it's in the front. Both are in the front. Whereas my inkjet, I've got one in the bank at the back. So that would go in that way. But I put mine in that way in the laser. So they're all going to be different. But just put a cross, you know, a pencil cross on the top of the page before you, you know, and put a blank piece in and see what side your printer prints on, whether it's face up or face down. All right. And then, but then if it doesn't work, print again on the back <laughs> it doesn't matter does it so i'm going to cut these out and we'll have a look it looks like we've got some nice interesting ones here on this like i say i have no idea where this paper come from i've had it a while so a lot of it is um all these i've actually got in some of my kits because they're in the public domain so yeah i shall cut them out and have a look at those okay there we are and these have worked out beautifully okay lovely but like i say i must probably do some do some sheets up so i can print these on 
and you know so that it becomes quite random but like i say that's a scrapbooking piece and now i've got some really nice tickets that i can play around with that's it and then here's the stamp ones which are great too because we're utilizing our stamps um oh i think i think that's that i didn't do those <laughs> they look like i've done them <laughs> you would think yeah so and that one goes that way so some great ones there and we can stain them up a little bit more i didn't i didn't want it too dark so so i wish i'd have done the big ones in um what other a white as well which i didn't did i so because i could have printed the big ones as well onto something like this mind you that was only one piece of paper so I've, um, i haven't got any more of that so i have to make my own that's it That's belongs there. And that one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Just shows you what you can do with the white ones and the tickets and different things. And then you've got a sheet that you can um, cut out and everything as well yourself. So, and that's printed. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I have tickets coming out of tickets. <laughs> I don't think... I need any more <laughs> for a while. <laughs> At least I've got them all cut out now. <laughs> Thank oh, and I got some little bits left over as well. There, and that was from the 12 by 12 bit. So I shall be utilizing those. That was left over from the 12 by 12, cutting it to A4. So and that was the bits that was left over on the edges of the others. Okay. Now I'm going. Bye, everybody.